Are you expecting someone? Oh, hi. I didn't expect you so early. Not early. You're on time. Uh-huh. So... Well, if you're going to go to all this trouble to set something up like this, you should arrive a few minutes early. Fifteen, maybe? That way we've got ample time to pull something as simple as this together. Well, that's the point. It's not hard to do. <sighs> well, then if it's so easy to do, and you purposely came on time to do it, why would you be so shocked that I would surprise you by arriving at 5.30 as scheduled? Well, it's a Friday after work. We've already pretty much settled everything. I just didn't expect you on time. So you're admitting that I wasn't really early. That it was 5.30 and that you said it coming. Okay, all minutes. right. I said you were early, but you really weren't. You were on time, as expected. And I guess what I really should have said was something like, hey, wow, you're on time. Thanks. Damn straight. We bill by the quarter hour. I'm here for work. That makes two of us. Really? Are you billing your client the extra time it took to pull this all together? Well, I am, kind of. What about the rose? The rose, I'm sorry to say, is for you. Business expense? I paid cash, no receipt. So this is not a business meeting. That would make this just what kind of a meeting then? You do have a unique approach to the law. I mean, asking the opposing attorney on a date is highly unethical. Look, this is really no big deal. Can't we just say hello, sit and talk, enjoy our island a bit while we settle this one case? Lawyer to lawyer? Of course. Hello, Mr. Sagum. I'm Tara Colloway, attorney at law. Yes, you are. Well, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Ren. <laughs> You're looking good, Tara. Real good. Thanks. You too. Working out? Oh, three times a week. Hit the gym, do a little weights. Get on the treadmill. You? Correct me if I'm wrong, but we are intending to review these documents tonight, aren't we? That is the plan. Well, I don't think you're on a schedule to finish before a natural light fades the way you're going. What do you mean? I mean, you're spending more time checking me out than the documents in your hands. This is a business meeting, right? Well, we agreed to everything already. There are no surprises here except maybe a typo. Doubt it. You really should review this proposal. You look absolutely beautiful. Like beautiful to the point that a man kind of takes a brief respite in the ongoing saga of time and he kind of catches his breath. You mean I sort of take your breath away? In a way, yeah. Oh. I noticed that... At your present pace, not only will we not be able to review the documents in time, Oh, not but... to worry. I have ample lighting if we have to go into overtime. <laughs> what? Just you and your sports phrases and movie quotes. Going into overtime. Take it to the hoop. The mustard falls off the hot dog. Go ahead. Make my day. Hello, hello. How is everyone? My name is Chef Paul. She wants five million dollars. And I will be your chef tonight and I will be preparing this very fresh Caesar salad right before your very eyes. What the fuck are you talking about? We had a deal. No, you had a deal. Bullshit. You said it was fine. Well, things have changed. Since when?
a beautiful night. beautiful, isn't it? I mean, look at it. It's so natural. Everything in its place. The tide rolls in. The shore goes to sleep. The tide rolls out. The shore comes to life. Do you know what the difference is between us and the sea? Emotion. If we had no emotion, we would be as naturally compatible as the shore of the sea. Emotion can turn us into creatures. It's acting on emotion that reveals our most primitive nature. And yet, there's nothing wrong right here. It's almost impossible to experience this while at work. There is nothing that matches making money with this feeling of natural essence. Too many people, too much drama. You can say that again. <laughs> And yet, survival is to exist. That crab knows it's nighttime, so it's safe to go hunt, whatever. And some geckos can change colors to match their environment for safety. And we can control our emotions and affect positive change within ourselves. What about those we have to deal with who don't evolve ever? Uh, the good and the bad still consumes into the person and who they become. <laughs> Do you know what we're talking about? Not a fucking clue. There's something about going to the beach, don't you think? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to come out here a lot. The big thing was whether or not I could make it out to the reef. Back then, it was like swimming to another island. Now it's just a stone's throw from here. My dad would stand on the shore and Tell me to go out. Go on, he say. I'll be right here in case you need me. I'd be so scared. And yet I went ahead. And with every stroke, I'd look behind. And there he was, just watching. Did you ever need him? My dad? Well, always. But, you know, he never had to come and get me. I always made it on my own. Just knowing that he was there, behind me, was all I really needed. My mother used to take me out to that reef in an inner tube. My dad never seemed able to join us. It's never the three of us. I like that time with my mom. I think you were like a father figure to me. Oh, fuck. Rip my heart out. You win. I give you your five million dollars. I'll take it. Sexual harassment. <laughs> the irony. Why? 
does that land here? I don't know. Is it? I'm usually right on time for our Monday morning meetings when we discuss the status of all of our cases. On this day, I don't know, must have been the traffic. But I arrive and all heads turn to me. I felt like I was expected to give a presentation and for a moment that's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I'm making my way to the empty chair when Frank stands and he says, Brent, can I have a word with you? We go outside and he says, Tara Calloway has hired Miles Polo. They say you threatened her to have her fired if she never went out with you. I'm standing there in total shock. Is there any truth to this, Ren? Did you sleep with her? Yeah. Why not make it the reason? Huh? Why? Of course they picked a time when you were away at a business meeting. I went in early to do some photocopying and Elizabeth walks in and stands like she's waiting for me to finish. I pass her a grin and before my 20 copies finish collating, she point blank asks me if we're having an affair. You should have called me. Called you? Called you! At 7 a.m. I'm making copies. At 9 a.m. I'm being escorted out the door. What would you have done? Moreover, what did you really do? For a week or two, I have expected you to save me. To be my knight in shining armor, sweep me off my feet. And then word got back that you were on a trip with your wife to sort things out. That's when I got a call from Miles Polo. Polo. The biggest slime ball lawyer known to me. I got fired, Ren. Okay, I got fired. My chances of getting into law school, they were ruined. I mean, at the time, from my perspective, in the state of mind that I was in, I felt that I had every right to file a grievance. Oh, so that makes it okay then. You need to get into law school so it's okay to destroy the reputation of someone else. I didn't know it would play out the way it did. <laughs> you threatened a lawsuit against me and you don't expect it to get ugly? What did you expect? What did I expect? What did I expect? <laughs> I was instantly alone with no job, no prospects, no future. I mean, this island is so small. I mean, everybody talks. I mean, my chance of getting into law school here, it was over before it even started. And you, you kept your job and your wife and your kids. Face it, Ren, basically your life was the same. The same? The same?
I think we better get up. What time is it? Oh god, it's late. Oh. Uh, oh. Whoever the hell said sand was soft? <laughs> oh. So you ended up sleeping with me after all. <laughs> You gotta admit, my plan worked after all. The conquest to the male species. <laughs> you okay? You gotta give me something. What? Do you have anything more to offer so that I can get Hamilton to dig a little deeper? I've told you everything. Tara, if you're expecting a higher settlement, then you have a witness, some other facts, a prior case that only you know of. I know you, you learned from me. You would not go into court without something up your sleeve. And if it's five million you're asking for, then there's a number that you and your client have already agreed upon, right? You really don't want to go to court, do you? No, not really. But if we got to play the game, then okay. we Okay. Gotta... I'll give you one detail unique to this case. I got him on camera. What? Actually, twice. Security cameras. It's amazing how stupid people can be. I mean, everybody knows that ATM machines have cameras on them, but they still commit crimes in front of them. <laughs> what are you talking about? Groping. Your client caught on video, I got it. Ah, uh, this changes things. I think we'll be able to come back with something greater than $200,000. That would be smart. Hey, you said twice. You asked for one, I gave you one. The only way you'll find out about his second performance is if you and your client come back with anything less than half. 2.5 million dollars? Mm-hmm. Girls gotta eat. Good job. Well, thank you for a very interesting evening. It certainly was. Will I be seeing you again? I don't think so. We're like ships, Tara. Two ships passing in the night. Ships? You're right. Women are truly not romantic. Well. Have a good life. Hey! What the hell was that? I don't know. It's like we were talking about last night. How emotion can make the lives of the female and male species so screwed up. Now that we likely won't be crossing paths again, we can be totally honest. We were 
like those ships passing the night, Ren. It may have been for a brief moment in time, but I loved you. And it was real. Women, they can really fuck you up, yeah? But then the worst cliche of all, you can't live with them, you can't live without them. I mean, can you imagine life with just you and me? Us guys. Hey Paul, you ever seen Casablanca? But well, there's a great line at the ending of that movie, and it goes something like this. Paul, I have a feeling that this could be the start of a terrific friendship. Just when I think I'm the only thing for miles, Mr. Sandcrab appears with a wink and a smile. Been meaning to come here for so long. much to do it makes me dizzy seems like everybody's always so busy from day one to the end of the line never enough 